I went to bed last night as if it were any other regular night. And then the phone rang. So I answered the phone and it was the chair of the Nobel Prize Committee. It was just a stunning, shocking moment of excitement and exhilaration. The final word was, within the next 50 minutes, you know, your life is normal <laughs> as you have known it. But as soon as we announce it, your life will change. Science is sometimes thought of as being difficult and frustrating because there's a high failure rate. Really, there are no failures. Rather, there are experiments whose outcome you did not anticipate. <laughs> this is your chance to learn something new. I took organic chemistry initially because it was required of my biology major, and I fashioned myself a pre-med. But then surprisingly, I found the class to be elegant and beautiful and, and, and just in, intrinsically understandable. And I fell in love with the subject to the point where, you know, when my friends were going out to parties on a Saturday night or a Friday night, there I was making excuses to stay home in my dorm and read organic chemistry books. All of us at Stanford are just so incredibly proud of Professor Bertozzi, and I'm so delighted that her accomplishments have been recognized by the Nobel Committee. Her work does what great science does. It illuminates the world. She's recognized for creating a new field of bioorthogonal chemistry. I came up with this idea for using chemistry to label the cell surface sugars with imaging molecules. But that required the availability of chemistry that you could actually execute on cells and even in living organisms and eventually in human patients. And no such chemistry existed at that time. And the impact of that approach in, for example, our understanding of the basic building blocks of life to improve diagnostics in diseases such as tuberculosis and also to develop entirely novel approaches to therapeutics, including very importantly cancer therapeutics. It's very important to me that I have the opportunity to mentor younger scientists because I know that whatever my lab can contribute to the world, it's a sliver compared to what the totality of all of my mentees will contribute to the world. The Nobel Prize shines a spotlight on a field and on some people. And I think the people have an opportunity to use the platform to, to do good things, right, for their profession and hopefully for the world at large. I understand the gravity of being a woman and now a Nobel laureate in the sciences. There aren't that many of us yet, although there's certainly a trending in the right direction and an uptick. But I think to the extent that a younger scientist or an early career scientist can look at my path and, and this moment and draw some inspiration from it, I would feel deep gratitude. <laughs> <laughs>